is happening people welcome back to Kibla Ahmed Arch G-Man out here in Hong Kong it's 4 a.m. and I still can't sleep because of this damn thing called jet lag got back Monday and just can't sleep anyway um, the good thing is one thing I can do while I'm up is uh, San Diego Com Comic Con is going on all these trailers are going on and it's, it's DC time man it's all about DC they got they bang out a trailer for Aquaman finally you know, DC, it's about, it's hopefully, you know, all their movies haven't been doing so great. I mean, I still like them, but they haven't been great movies. Um, but hopefully things are about to change. You know, you've got to keep positive about these things. Um, Aquaman, you know, we first got introduced to him in the Justice League. He was okay. Um, I didn't really mind him too much. I didn't really, he wasn't one of my fan favourite characters out of uh, Justice League, the movie, to be honest with you. Um, but I'm still interested to see what they're going to do for the movie, what sort of take they're going to take, maybe they're going to change things around, I don't know. But anyway, let's check out this trailer, at least we got something from DC, man. DC time. My father was a lighthouse keeper. My mother was a queen. But life is a way of bringing people together. Yes, freaking hell. You know what, yeah, I'm thinking DC haven't been quite successful with one of some of their main characters because I think there's so much expectation. Batman, Superman, right, for example. And then Justice League was it was a big project, um, which I think they rushed into it. So maybe, you know, hopefully with these, you know, a character like Aquaman, who's not one of the or he's obviously a big character, but what I'm talking about from just instance in general, not one of the biggest compared to Batman and Superman, they could take a different step and start again, man. I mean, that looks wicked. I mean, I think, hopefully, you know, they, they portray this character well. It looks like it's got the same sort of vibe from Justice League. Uh, they could just get away from that whole DC universe that's not really working out too well in the movie world and just focus on this one character, give us an epic film, an epic uh, story and sort of, you know, uh, what do you call it, background of this character. Um, and hopefully make him a likable and fav like a favorable to a character. Uh, I don't even know if that's a word, but just make him a nice, like a uh, likable character. Like Marvel's done with certain characters that never been so popular, like Thor or even Captain America. I mean, I wasn't a big, massive fan of him, 
comic book wise, but the movies made me love him now. You know, I think that's what DC's job needs to be. Start making likeable characters. You can't just rely on Batman, Superman. Um, those are the two most iconic superhero characters of all time. Uh, and you're fucking them up in the movies. You know what I'm saying? Like, people will watch them still because it's Batman and Superman, no doubt about it. But I think that's based on how popular they are in, in, in the world. So taking this step with Aquaman, hopefully that will be awesome. The visuals look cool. Um, I, I think I think if they do a good movie, story wise, and not confuse the fuck out of us like they've done with the other movies, just have a nice flow of a story. Don't even have to make it too complicated. Don't think about complicating shit. Just having it simple and just give make him a relatable character to the audience. So be like, yes, I like Aquaman now. I'm a big fan of Aquaman. I want to buy his toys. I want to buy his comics. That's the whole idea, you know. Make him so likable that you want to just buy all the comics and all that sort of stuff um but i like that i like what's going on there so i'm interested man that should be awesome hopefully dc at the end of this year there's no marvel films marvel films coming out uh, to steal any shows so hopefully they kill it anyway man that was awesome guys uh thank you for watching uh mad respect and thank you for all the subscriptions and likes and dislikes and all the feedback um yeah, man, that was DC time. DC time. G-Man out. Peace.